Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Bradford City versus MK Dons vlog. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We're now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Thank you very much for 7,900. That really does help the channel out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below on today's game. It's going to be tough. MK Dons obviously sitting pretty in the playoffs at this moment in time, despite having a couple of issues with their strikers and all that sort of stuff. They're still a very good side, most recently winning in the last minute against Accrington Stanley. In the reverse fixture, they turned us over 4-1, so we need to get a bit of revenge on them in this one. They're one of the very few sides that we've scored in every single game we've played against in our history as well, so there's a fun fact for you. In terms of a score prediction though today, I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. I'm going to go G.A. Hyung to get the goal for the Bantams. I'm going to go Jack Payne to score for MK Dons. He scored in all three of his visits against Bradford City since he's departed the football club as well. So, fingers crossed he doesn't score tonight. Alexander obviously returning against his former side. He was managing them at the start of the campaign. So, there's a little bit more added on to tonight's game. Make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you are new as well. And I shall see you all once team news is out. Here we have it then. Here's how we line up for today's game at home to MK Dons. Two changes from Saturday. Lewis Richards, as expected, not in the squad. Clark Adore comes in at for Harry Chapman, I believe, who drops down to the bench. Kevin McDonald back in the side as well with Gilead moving to left wing back. Don't mind it too much. I'd like to see Jake Young start over maybe a Kavanagh, to be honest with you. But overall, not a bad team. Let's get into kickoff. As expected, really, it's not a particularly great turnout from the MK Dons fans. Fair play, though, to those who have travelled. In terms of the home attendance, very, very empty. I wonder what the couple blame it on today because it's knocked through with the weather. We had a brilliant win at the weekend. And I do not blame anyone who's not turned up today. But come on, City, let's get the three points. Just had a quick glance down to the uh, dugout. Alexander, it doesn't look like he's in there tonight, so he must be up in the stands again. See if it pays off. Nice play from MK Dons. 40. Ball in. He's in the flat today with six out for a corner. Jack Payne from the safest corner on the near side. Met with a couple of moves there from the Rafa fans. It'll be a left footed out swinger here from uh, their number 11. The line goes up. Ball in very low. Head of the front post, that's about three metres wide. 14 more ball in. Smaller with a nice tackle. Comes to 22 to strike. Good block from Clark. Eight shoots. Out for a goal kick. He definitely looks offside there, but Lino's two yards away from the not big enough for that. One, two. Oh, what a goal! Van Klaar! He's brilliant from a goal. He puts the ball in. Some ricochets in the penalty area. He puts the flat on the edge. Strikes right in the top corner. What a goal! <laughs> Finish that one. Get in there. Yeah. What a goal. On a walk for in on the near side. Don't fall to over it. It will be Abla. Deep. Mm. Comes out to uh, Gilead. And ball. Oh, oh, oh look good. Instead. On the ball near from Kedons. Take. The ball comes in. It's a great ball in. Mm. Walking. Oh, man. Yeah. But he catches it on the second attempt. The ball is kind of bit deceiving there, but the walk is far, far too easy. Good job, confidence in the team. They're passing through the field, far too easy tonight. Tompkinson's had to recover a couple of times, and he's done it well three or four times, but we can't be allowing him, we've got to stop it at source. Ken picks it up in here, and loads of room against Platt. Good tackle, Matty Platt. Mm -hmm. Tried to cut in, and Platt really, and that's excellent. Oh, we played out nice there, brilliant football. We've just played some excellent football, Kavanagh finds Cook. Oh, he's turned straight into the man there, he's excellent. About five players there, and he gets to Cook, and he just gives it away. Uh, he not gives it away, but loses it far too easily. He's got to protect the ball better. Ken Kedon's come forward on the counter, Ken, a loud time. Ken, they put in a brilliant challenge, and it's excellent. Dahl with a... Suicidal band pack I've ever seen. <laughs> Criminal. Don't let him put in. Well done, Gilead. Oh, well played, Gilead. 
Definitely a far win as well there. Holds a well by Kavanagh. I think it'll be quick. Oh, well, yeah, to a goal. Come on, a goal. Get at him. Get at him. Shoot. Attacks two goals. Get in there. Defensively, Edouard is not great. Forward, no. Number 21, he's on skates, and that's all because of that. Going forward, Edouard's been quite good today. The old burning. Small ball in. Head it up. Get the head back down. Smash clear. Freaky here for MK Dons. Probably about 25 yards out, something like that. Maybe a bit closer, 23. Two players still over it. Payne and Tomlinson, I think. players have gone about a yard in front of the line there. This ref, uh, very, very specific. Here we go then. Jack Payne, just three minutes gathered on. Jack Payne. Oh. He's gone He probably should catch that, but maybe you're wrong sighted. Come on, keep it out for a corner. Go on the wall then, Brent Kiddums. It'll be Jack Payne to take. Left footed out. There we go. Ball in. The ball. And he put heads. Away, Cabinet's clearance is great. Oh, Kemp back in. Oh, Kelly's up there. Get out! Kelly heads away. Oh, oh yeah, handball. That's the fourth on this game. The ref's finally seen. Thank God. These things that have not got a play. They're playing just four. Oh, no. And so Gilead's complained to the line. Oh, he's been booked 50 cents. He's a ref. He's a thug. Free kick here then from Kiddens. Probably with the last action of the half. Don't concede now. Deep ball in. Deep. Half time 2 0. Positive half. We deserve to be ahead. They look too plus, but 2 0. The dodgy score had it before, so we need a third in the second half. <laughs> Shot comes in, blocked by their own player. First game again for us, McDonald 
off on a booking makes sense right out coming on so Gilead will move back into midfield and second change of the game is Clark Adol coming off with Jake Young coming on there's a goal in this for Young in I really hope he gets it today Adol going forward has been quite good today goal a couple of assists in there really good going forward defensively could do a bit better though Gilead plays it through to Kavanagh ball in Really nice play from Gilead. Cavanagh, he's done the right thing there, it's just good defending. Get another free kick from K Dunn, so around about that 20, 25 mark, 20, 25 yard out mark, should I say. Again, Haynes are over it, I think 14 are over it as well, in a good area. Hain. Oh, it's only just like that. I thought Hain that might have gone in, it's just not there today. Nice player again from K Dunn. Managed to get bodies back behind the ball though. But it, you know, it's like, you know, the obvious is, you know. If it hits, you can see the star is going to move the ball now. Right out, deals with it momentarily. Gets a toe in, done well there. Oh, brilliant, that from Young as well. Clearly fouls. How is that not a foul? How? This ref is a clown, man. We get bookings for breathing on someone, but you get a rugby tackle to the floor, we're going to get a free kick. More. We must be approaching double figures for yellow cards tonight, and there's not been one even semi bad foul tonight. Referees like that, they just give bookings for anything and just ruin the game. Yeah, sometimes you've got to, if it's a, a tactical foul, give a booking, but not every tackle is a yellow card. Our fans are all laying their passes. I mean, when do you ever see that? The keeper's got the ball at the moment. Clown. I would genuinely be surprised if one of our players are end up getting sent off here because it's all about this referee sucking the life out of it and ruining the game. One part. Oh, Matty Clark. Again, a brilliant recovery challenge. He's been outstanding tonight. Absolutely excellent. In versus Rydell. He's done him far too easily. Oh, what a save. Oh, brilliant save. That is why Rydell can't be the team. He got skinned far too easily. Yes, it was down the middle, but still got to make it. It's a good save. No shot. Oh, what a block that is from Tomkinson. Four and a half, he's just throwing his head in front of that. He didn't need to, but he wants that clean sheet. Love to see it. Still the change coming up now. Third change of the game. Having that off. Smith on. Having us been pretty decent. Maybe slightly surprising, it's not Smith up front, Smith's on the right, Young's through the middle and Bobby Poynton's on the left. Unless it's a change in formation and Poynton's now in the midfield and two up front maybe. Fifteen seconds left, so I'll leave it there for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 150 likes have been massively appreciated. What a brilliant win that is! I mean, I don't think we had many more chances back from the goal, but we were clinical, and that's something we've not had for years. So hopefully, it continues. Big game against Sutton on Saturday. We're gonna make it three wins in a row, and more importantly, back to back home. There's the full time I'll see you on Saturday for Sutton.